This is your protective gear. You got your glasses, your long sleeves, your gloves, your leather footwear, and jeans. Two, three. Different machines have different power switches. This one right here is in the back. All you gotta do is flip it up. Before you start cutting, you wanna make sure your PSI is set on a certain amount for cutting. However thick your metal is, you're gonna want more amps. We're gonna put ours to mm, 35. Uh, you got a trial in here, um, it tells you everything, like your gas pressure, your torch parts, how much PSI you need to cut, how much thick the metal is, and um, yeah. You're going to want to put your, uh, your work clamp as close to the cutting area as possible on your work piece. You want to put it on, make sure there's no paint anywhere, and uh, make sure it's tight and secure. You're going to want to move your lock down here and uh, press the trigger for the arch to come out. Alright, well, um, I'm going to start a cut right here. And you don't want to keep your tip, just like an air gap from the metal because you don't want to drag your tip, it'll heat up, it'll mess up. Like. You see how it just doesn't cut all the way through? Uh, we're going to show you what low amps look like. Yeah. Doesn't really look that clean compared to like the right amount of amps. Out there, they want to cut pull on your lawnmower. Yeah. There you go. And for all you other rednecks that uh, rabbit speed ain't quick enough, here's your lightning bolt. They look like Harry Potter. Alright, we're gonna go over everything. Make sure you got your air compressor plugged in. Make sure you got your power, which is already on. Make sure your voltage is correct. And you got some air pressure in your gauge. Make sure you don't fit. Lift up the safety handle. Make sure you wear an off protective equipment. Plasma cutter is really for design stuff like the cup holder or just putting really cool designs of metal, not like really cutting metal in half.